pictured. Austrian Red Sea shark attack victim, as it emerges a second woman was killed. Two women have died in a shark attack within 650 feet of each other at a tourist hotspot in Egypt as the first victim has been named as a 68-year-old pensioner from Austria. Egyptian authorities admitted today another lifeless body was pulled out of the sea on Friday after being located on a reef in Sal Hashish, south of Hergada, according to eyewitnesses. The woman's identity has not been revealed but she is believed to have been a Romanian tourist who was staying at adults only premier La Rev five-star hotel. The local Green Party in Kromsok, Tyrol named Elizabeth Sauer, who was local councillor from 1998 to 2004, as the first woman who was attacked at around same time as the other tourist. She was walking in shallow water while using a snorkel with fins not far from the beach near Hergada and told her partner, an Austrian of Egyptian descent, I'll go back in for a moment. Footage then shows her desperately trying to get towards safety with the aid of a flipper as the waters around her turn scarlet red in Sal Hashish Bay, south of Hergada, in the Red Sea. Terrified onlookers tried to distract the predator, which is believed to be either a mako or a oceanic white-tipped shark, but no one jumped in to help her. An Egyptian health official said she was then taken to the private Nile hospital where she could not be resuscitated and is believed to have died from painful shock, most likely a heart attack. It is thought she had been in the country for a month, arriving on June 2nd, with her partner and was due to return home today. Yesterday, officials at the Red Sea Governorate told reporters that area of the attack in Hergada would be closed to all sea activity including fishing and diving. The beach has been deserted in the wake of the deaths but will most likely reopen tomorrow. The same unnamed Russian tourist who filmed footage, which is too graphic to be shown, in the aftermath of the first attack posted a new video showing the location of the second fatal incident. Using his finger to explain, he said, this is a small lagoon where we saw, the shark, for the first time. A mako shark is a species of swift, active, and potentially dangerous sharks of the mackerel shark family. There is a shortfin and longfin species, depending on whether it's open or shallow water. Adults, prized for their fighting qualities and repeated leaps out of the water, can be 4.5 meters, 14.8 feet, in length and exceed 500 kilograms, about 1,100 pounds, in weight. They prey on fishes such as herring, mackerel, and swordfish and small cetaceans. Source. Britannica, and we didn't realize it was a shark. The attack I filmed, earlier, was here, he points towards the pier. And the body of the second woman was pulled out approximately here. Writing on Facebook Di Grunen Kromsok said, We mourn the passing of our Elizabeth Sauer, 68, who died in a tragic bathing accident in Egypt. Our heartfelt condolences go out to the family. Elizabeth was a committed Green from the first hour in Kromsok, a councillor from 1998 to 2004, and for many years a loyal substitute councillor and GR candidate. May she rest in peace. We would like to take this opportunity to express our sincere condolences and compassion. She will forever be remembered for her warmth and compassion. Hundreds of tourists had seen the first attack on the Austrian woman who had been snorkeling, wearing flippers, when she was attacked, and complained there were no lifeguards as swimmers fled the sea. The Russian witness said, I saw the shark turning and twisting the woman in the water. I didn't manage to film it, but she was twisted in the water. Earlier he told how he saw the woman, fighting off, the shark, with her hands at first, but apparently the shark bit off her leg with a flipper first, then her hand, which it threw it on the corals. She was already sitting on the corals, showing her hand, and, leg. She was in, a state of, shock. She didn't even scream, didn't cry, nothing. After miraculously making her way back to land, the Austrian woman was given CPR by doctors at the scene but she died minutes later in an ambulance. A spokeswoman for the Austrian embassy in Cairo told the breaking news, our embassy in Cairo is in close contact with the family, including her partner, an Austrian of Egyptian descent, who witnessed the tragic scene, and her daughter. The Austrian embassy is in contact with relatives of the deceased as well as with the local authorities. It said she was walking not far from the beach within the designated bathing when she was attacked and it was still unclear how the shark came so close to. Her, oceanic whitetip sharks, are large stocky sharks with a huge, rounded first dorsal fins and long, wide-tipped pectoral fins. 
They grow up to 4 meters in total length with a maximum weight of 168 kilograms and usually live an age of 22 years. And are also on the critically endangered list according to Fraser University. Source. Marine Bio Video shows witnesses on a nearby jetty record the woman's survival attempt and comment on her predicament. A group of Russian tourists are heard saying, where are the rescuers? F asterisk asterisk asterisk, she's covered in blood. Holy S asterisk asterisk, where's the rescue team? For F asterisk 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 asterisk, S sake. Lifeguards? Where are the lifeguards? She's going to F asterisk 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 ing die. The 68-year-old woman, who lost a leg and an arm, died shortly after being taken to the private Nile hospital in Hergada, an Egyptian health official said. She was barely alive when she was taken in on Friday, the official said, adding that attempts by medical staff to resuscitate her failed. The official spoke on condition of anonymity because he was not authorized to speak to reporters. The governor of the Red Sea province closed the area for three days, banning all sea activities including diving, snorkeling, wind surfing and kite sailing. Fishing boats were also banned from the waters off Hergada. A local report quoted by Russian news agency RIA Novosti added, the woman died in the ambulance from painful shock. Reports from news agency AFP and Austrian news outlets point to the attack being committed by a mako shark while local Egyptian newspapers have named the animal as an oceanic whitetip shark. In June 2021, a parasailer, a 37-year-old Jordanian man, was bit in the leg by a shark. In December 2020, a German woman, 42, was savaged by a shark while diving in near Marsa Lam. In October 2020 a 12-year-old Ukrainian boy on holiday in Egypt and his tour guide lost limbs after an attack by an oceanic whitetip shark. In August 2018, a 41-year-old Czech tourist died after being attacked 12 miles north of the town of Marsa Lam. In 2010, five shark attacks took place at Sharm El Sheikh in the same number of days. The Ministry of Environment announced today that an expert group was investigating the attacks, seen as rare in the area. The resort is popular with Russian tourists, and remains open to them in contrast to many European destinations despite the war in Ukraine. We ask Russian citizens to remain vigilant when in the water, and strictly follow the bans imposed by the Egyptian authorities on swimming, diving and fishing on the high seas and off the coast, tourists were told by their consulate general in Hergada. They were told to strictly observe the signals from hotel employees and the coast guards. Shark attacks in Egypt are rare, but the Red Sea has more than 44 species of the fish, some of which can be deadly. Most common are 6 feet long gray reef sharks, which have 13 or 14 sharp teeth. They swim in shallow waters around 60 meters deep or less. In June 2021, a tandem parasailer, a 37-year-old Jordanian man, was hovering above the water in Aqaba when a shark suddenly emerged and bit his leg. The man lost part of the back of his foot in the attack which also severed tendons, tore muscles and broke several bones. In December 2020, a German woman was savaged by a shark while diving in the Red Sea before instructors pulled her away to safety. The oceanic whitetip shark latched onto the woman, 42, near Marsa Lam in Egypt. The tourist was taken to hospital where she is recovering in a stable condition, according to the governor for the Red Sea Amr Hanafi. In October 2020 a 12-year-old Ukrainian boy on holiday in Egypt and his tour guide lost limbs after an attack by an oceanic whitetip shark. The pair needed amputations after the vicious incident at Resort Ras Muhammad in the Red Sea. And in 2010, five shark attacks took place at Sharm El Sheikh in the same number of days. Three Russians, one Ukrainian and one German tourist were injured. The German tourist, 71-year-old resort regular Renata Seifert, died of her injuries. Created by 00 Breaking News. Daily breaking and more news. Please. Subscribe.